Hello and welcome to World of Tanks Gameplay 4. Relearning the basics. Is that most of the battles I'm pretty sure this tank has kind of preferential matchmaking, which I didn't know existed until I was told about it uh, yesterday that some tank tanks do um, basically have preferential matchmaking. And so, uh, I'm pretty sure the M4 has fairly good matchmaking as well, which means most of my battles in this are going to be fought among uh, tiers that I can, you know, sort of fight in. And uh, I just got the cannon on this, but another reason um, I'm showing this battle is I've just realized another basic sort of mechanical gameplay rule that exists in this game, and that is the missions. Um, in a previous battle I just fought, I realized the existence of the um, credits to buy uh, premium or gold ammo. And I've just realized with the missions now, because, uh, well, I don't know, the missions features have been updated and sort of changed around a lot. And when I, when I used to always look at the missions feature, I'd see, say, the first one, which has like a, like a Stug 3 as a picture on it. And I think, oh, well, I can't do that. I need a Stug 3 for it. But no, I've just realized. Oh, I just killed him. I've just realized that the um, missions don't require you being stuck at all. It's just basic missions that you can use with whichever, uh, whichever tank. So I've got a lot of ground to catch up on with that, especially. And straight away, I feel that I've got a bit of an advantage here, so I'm going to move up. So we're just in the battle with the uh, M36 Jackson here, and uh, as you can see, it's been a few minutes into the battle so far, and I've just moved up along the right hand side of my side of the map, and just staying up on the hill, trying to stay out of the line of sight, while also uh, getting some shots in. And most of my team's actually moved up on this side, which is nice, so it sort of gives me an opportunity to move along the left hand side of the hill while they were occupied. And I'm just going after this M7 medium tank here. And nice, got the kill. Really like the uh, M36 Jackson. Especially once it's got its 90mm cannon. And almost got that MA3E2. Ah, damn it, bounced. Probably not the best place to shoot at its gun turret. And just going for that. No, miss. Okay, and just in a battle with the M4 Sherman. And just waiting for the battle to start. I'm going to fast forward this a bit. And uh, this clip's been put in this uh, gameplay for relearning the basics because uh, just trying to get the skills down, you know, for learning the basic tactics and uh, sort of judging when and when not to charge straight through the middle of the map. Uh, basically right between the enemy team. So I'm going down the middle of the map here. I usually go along this spot, just having a look around. I've got the uh, cannon on the uh, Sherman, sort of the derp gun. And uh, you can see straight away, i got a target who's... I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's sort of just sitting there, easy target, straight through the back, and pretty much do a full damage shot. And, uh, sort of pick my uh, spot to make my stand here, just next to this hill. Uh, so to be really careful though, there's tanks coming from either side. And uh, now I'm going to focus on that uh, T1 Heavy over there. So I already got one kill, and see if I can do some damage to this T1. And of course with the cannon, you, that's a good thing about it, even when you're going up against heavy, uh, it's still going to do some damage. 
And so a pretty stupid decision there <laughs> to just sort of sit there while trying to shoot him. And that guy was taken out before I could get the shot on him. Damn. Uh, this next bit here is pretty much why I put this clip in. Just sort of uh, me going up against this T1 Heavy here. And basically got no health left. Going up against like another two tanks. And just sort of dodging backwards and forwards. Getting that kill. And sort of just making those few small decisions that mean I can carry on in this battle. Basically survive until we win. <laughs> And uh, this is on a different map, just with the M36 Jackson. Straight away, just got a kill, moving up the hill. And be careful, we'll take a few hits. It's always best to get up there quickly, which is why once I get the uh, Hellcat, I'd be much happier to get up this hill quickly, especially before those uh, enemy lights always get up there first. But with the uh, Hellcat, it'd probably be a lot easier. Anyway, so he's a tier 7, uh, I think it's a Japanese or Chinese light tank. So I've just gone up, see if I can get a shot on him. We both shoot each other, he pretty much takes out a lot of my health, I'm, I'm backing away. Uh, he managed to get another shot on me, shot on him. And I'm just trying to curve my armor so that he can't get me. That's why. That's pretty much why this clip's in here as well. Just making that decision to back off and using the armor uh, angle to pen his shot while getting some damage down. And I end up surviving that battle and winning. Uh, so into another battle with the M36 Jackson. Back on this map, forget the name. And uh, just going after this guy here. Got a kill. And so I'm on the hill here, I'm sort of trying to get, in, get a shot, but I'm getting the absolute crap shot out of me. So I'm going to move back, get out of the way, and uh, just sort of take my time and realise staying back is probably the best option for now. So you can see here, just fast forward because I'm not going to be doing much for the next few minutes, just playing it safe. I'm just waiting while the enemy team is whittled down, seeing what's going on, uh, make the decision it's safe to go out. So I pop out here, just checking around, and here comes another tank. Get that shot and a kill. And so I pretty much know that I'm in a safe spot here. Just gotta be careful of that uh, Jagpanzer up there. Or Jagpanzer as it's probably supposed to be called. <laughs> and see if I can get that shot on him. Using the auto aim there, probably would have been better to not use the auto aim. Just aim for the art. Uh, top of the armor, but oh well. And uh, my shot, that was just a bit too late. So, uh, just an example there, just realizing that, you know, it's probably best not to rush in, and by doing that, I've managed to survive the battle. Haven't really got, done that much damage, but uh, managed to survive and uh, pretty much live on until the end of the battle's finish. And there's only, they've only got one tank left. I'm pretty sure it's in the uh, right hand corner, which I signal, but I'm setting for the base anyway, for the base capture. And as you can see, the artillery was in that corner. And, uh, but we get a victory at the same time with base capture. So I'm not really sure which one they counted as, I didn't look at the stats afterwards. This is just another fun battle, uh, where I'm sort of just learning how to sort of do a bit backwards and forwards and use my armor to uh, take a few hits while getting no shots in. So this is a, it's a tier 8, uh, tier 10 medium tank there. And so I'm still getting no shots in, done a fair bit of damage to him. And uh, he hasn't managed to get any hits in yet, just because I'm doing that bit of backwards and forwards. Any kind of shot to reload. There's a tank up there, managed to get a quick shot in. And so he's gotten about three, four shots in, and uh, still no damage taken, which is nice. So 
Just waiting until I'm reloading before I even bother peeking out. I uh, still see that there's no tanks. I managed to get another shot in and his shot to flex off. And so I'm sitting back here while I reload again. Uh, I'm sort of a bit worried about the artillery so I keep on moving around and he's coming back around there. Virtually dead. Uh, I'm not going to go after him because there's still quite a few tanks on that side and I easily get shot apart. Uh, I do make a mistake here and just sort of staying there and tanking those hits still. I'm just waiting to see if he's going to back out. And so uh, here comes that AMX. Let's see if I can force him to sort of reverse. But of course, I've just been hit by the uh, Arty. And he's moved out of the way, so I can't get that shot on him. I'm just seeing if I can do a bit of a charge. I'm not really sure what took out that um, light tank there. And so just moving up, I'm back. Almost about to die. I managed to get that last kill. Anyway, so this was just a video of me learning to basically use uh, basic, uh, I guess, gameplay features, uh, you know, using armor deflection and just learning to sort of strategize a bit better. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you liked uh, and any suggestions if you reckon I should do videos uh, differently, like how I do audio overlapping montages or just straight video clips of an entire match. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, leave a like if you liked it.